Hello, this is Phonic UK, and this is the Ballistic Editor. Now I'm recording using Fraps, so all you're going to see is the actual viewport, none of the controls surrounding the editor, but they're not massively important. I tried using Snagit for this, and it was just too slow to be usable. So here is a level I made earlier. It's all very pretty, lovely pup map textures with a specular lighting and all sorts. I'm just going to turn on the gamepad. And there we go, I can now just walk around using the Xbox 360 controller I've got connected. Now, one of the main features of the editor is that you can just at any point preview the, how it would play. You don't even have to save, you can just take exactly what you've got and just run with it. And we can just restart and go back. Now I'm going to show you a bit of object drawing. Most object drawing is done in the same way in that we've just I've just selected the brush tool from the toolbar at the top and I've told it I want a box. So firstly I select how big I want it to be along one dimension and that's just a left click drag. Then I use a scroll wheel to go up and down. Nice and simple. When I'm happy with the size press enter and there we go and I can put another one on top so on and so forth when I've not got a selection I can just mouse wheel up and down to move the grid now what's different is that I don't have to put it on the grid nor do I have to put it on top of something I can go to the side of an object and pull outwards the grid will come up to the bottom of the selection to match so I can see where I'm going press enter and there we go and then I can come out this side and then I can go underneath and it's all very easy because absolutely everything you build just becomes an extension to the grid what's even better because ramps are an important part of this game if I place a ramp on the side of something else it will automatically work out what angle it needs to be at in order to work relative to the face you've just selected. Now of course you won't always be building a ramp against something you want to put one in mid-air or just on the ground. Now if I do this with automatic direction it will just fail. Um, but there is an option on the right here to switch to manual so I can tell it plus X minus Z with a couple of sliders and there we have a nice corner piece and I can stick a box here place a couple of automatic ramps and we have a nice surface now as much as I'm loving these grey boxes could be better. So I've just picked the select tool and I'm just going to select. Now at the moment I'm selecting per uh, group but I can quite easily select individual faces. Ignore the uh, pop-up box that was just for debugging. I can select multiples so it's not a problem, so I'll just select all of these and I'm going to apply a material so I'm going to give it some nice properties and I'm going to pick a texture I'll just give them the marble texture and there we have it it's nice and simple. See our lovely bump mapping there. And I can paint ramps, uh, cylinders, planes, spheres. If I just stick a dumb plane down the bottom here. Brush tool. There we go. Paint, paint that material, make it made out of grass. There we go. 
Now if I press F5, I'll just start here at the uh, default starting location, F6 to stop. Of course I don't always want to start there, so I can just move the mouse cursor where I want to be, press Control F5, and the ball will start here. And I can make my way up here. And so forth. And that's the uh, most part of it. It's very simple. Of course, the other trick you can pull, as you've seen normally when we're drawing brushes, it's select a box, scroll up. Oops, I want to draw a box, not a plane. So select an area, scroll up, or select an area, scroll out. But the other thing you can do is I can just say I wanted to stick another box here. All I'm going to do now is I'm just holding down the left mouse button, I've selected that area, and I just work my way up here. And it will just follow the contours of whatever I'm doing. Absolutely everything is an extension of the grid in every direction, which makes it really easy to build very quickly. Stick another ramp here. select and paint them. Where's that? There we go. And there we have it. What we can also do uh, in the editor is record short demos. So if I start the game and do uh, rec demo and you just bring up the console by pressing the F1 key. I can record some movement. Blum tiddy blue. And you can see the bits we built over there. And I can fail to reach the end. End demo. Play demo. And I've let go of the controller, it's just playing this back of its own accord. I've forgotten the command to... There we go. And we can return to the editor. And that's uh, pretty much everything there is to it. Oh, the other thing I've got to mention, while we're using the brush, we can adjust what size we want. As you see here, it's just select. It's just snapping to the major grid lines. At the bottom, you can't see it, it says the grid snap distance. It's currently at 32 units. Press the minus key, it goes down to 16. Press minus key again, it goes down to 8. So you can see 8 units is one of these minor grid points.